Now we are going to discuss about a very basic example with the help of k-means clustering algorithm. So these are the steps which we need to follow. Firstly, we will import the libraries. Then we will take several data points. Then we will import k-means. Then we will do grouping. Then we will fit the model. We will calculate the centroid value and label the cluster. Predict the label and after prediction, of course, we will visualize those data points. So these are the few steps which we need to follow. So firstly, I have to import a few libraries. Firstly, I'm going to import numpy as np. Next, I have to import pandas as pd. I'm importing sklearn also. And for plotting, we need matplotlib. So I'll write like this, import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. So these are the few libraries which we need. Next, we need to take several data points for plotting. And we know that plot means we need to give the x and the respective y. Now, one thing to keep in mind is this y is not actually output, which used to be in supervised learning. This is unsupervised. There is no output. So we are just simply giving the data points in the form of x and y. So for doing that, we write like this df equals to pd dot data frame and then I have to give several x and y. So these are the several x and y values which I have given for plotting. Here you can see that in x and I have given this as in form of dictionary respective x and y. So these are the values which I have given. Next we have to import the k-means. So for that we write like this from sklearn dot cluster import k means next what we have to do this the data points which we have given we have to group them so i'm taking that in x variable and i'm writing here df and then what i'm doing is to print the first five we use like this x dot df so as i execute this particular cell you can see here that the grouping is done x of y coordinates which are there which we have given in the data you can see here which we have given in this particular data set the x and y have been displayed next what we have to do is now we have to define centroids and it depends on your own choice that how many centroids you want. For example, I want three centroids and then I will fit this particular X, this data which has been changed into data frame. So I'm writing that in KM variable, KM, K means, and here I'm writing here as N clusters equals to three. So this is basically what I have defined as the number of centrals so or can be said as the number of clusters. Here we are creating three clusters and next I am going to fit that model. So for that we use the fit function. So I will write like this km.fit of x. So here you can see that k means algorithm that means a particular model has been built based on this particular algorithm. Next we have to calculate the centroid values. Centroid in the cluster we have taken that that will be 3 we want. But we also want to know the internal process also of calculated value that what are those calculated values. So for that we will simply write like this km dot cluster centers. So here you can see that these are the calculated values of cluster, three clusters which we wanted and this is the x and this is the respective y of those centroid values. Now we need to label, label those clusters of the data point which we have given. So these are the three clusters, let's say 0, 1, 2. If you have taken four clusters then this will be 0, 1, 2 and 3. One more will be added. So now we check the label. So for that we simply write like this km.labels. So here you can see that this gives us the label 2 belongs to this particular cluster 0 and 1 respectively the labels have been given. Data points occupied their respective cluster that means labeling has been done. Next what we need to do is we need to print the predicted value of the k-means. So for that we will write like this df k-mean 
predicted value or we can say the predicted label also equals to km dot labels and then I'm define another variable labels as having km dot labels and uh, lastly for show we use like this df dot head so that first five entries will be visible to us so here you can see that these are the labels which are given of the predicted value which is given next what we need to do is we need to visualize those at data point also so we have imported the matplotlib and next what we are going to do is we are going to plot the scatter we are going to plot a scatter plot so for that we simply write like this plt dot scatter And then we give the points which are there. So there is x, comma, df, y. And then we have to give the size. So I'm giving the size as 50. And what are these plotting on labels? So here you can see that these are the clusters which have been made of the data points which we have given and we have not given any specific color so it is taking color by itself only so this is for only the clusters and now if i want to check for the centroids also that what are the centroids or the cluster centers so for that also we can do like this we have to write here a for loop for i in km dot cluster centers plt dot scatter i 0 comma i 1 and there also we are giving the size and then we are using a marker for plotting the centroid so I'm using the marker here as star. So here you can see that these are the centroids and as we have discussed also these are the particular data points which is included in the centroids. So we have done the plotting also. If we have more than two features in the data set like here we only have x and y if you have more than that such as x1, x2, y1, y2 to plot this type of data set you can take two features at a time. So this is all about the basics of k-means clustering algorithm. Keep reminding of the steps always that you have to import the libraries, take the data point, import k-means, grouping, fitting, calculate the centroid value, label them, then check the predicted label and visualize the data points. So this is all about k-means clustering algorithm. The referral notes will be given to you in the video description. Thank you.